Yo, yo, it's Weefu with the Scroll Screen. Pow! Welcome back. Yo, have you ever seen a rat this big before? And before I carry on, I know a lot of you can say yes, yes I have, and it's probably not that abnormal to some people, so why am I showing it? I've personally never seen a rat this big before, and I hope that I never do. I had an horrific experience concerning rats when I was a kid. Let's check this video out first, and I'll tell you my horror story of nearly being eaten alive by rats. True story. Some people have argued that this is a musk rat or a black neutral rat and others say it is a black plague rat. I won't argue on what type of rat this is because to be honest with you I can't truly say. The location is New York so if it is a musk rat or a neutral rat then my opinion is it was kept as a pet and escaped or released into the city. But as some of you may know the channel's been down for a week because somebody's been snitching on the channel again and you know what I think to that. I have got a variety of content to show but I had to start with this video because when I first saw it I had flashbacks of what happened to me as a child. The story starts here in South Street. I spent most of my childhood growing up in this area. This entire area was our backyard so to speak. We knew every inch of it. I was around 15, 16 at the time. Me, my brother Carl and our mate Mark went camping in this field one night. We stocked up on alcohol, weed, about 50 pounds worth of munchies and that was a lot of munchies back then and we decided to go camping. But rather than go camping on the field in plain sight because our house Houses were literally on the outskirts of the field and we didn't want to get busted by our parents with the weed and alcohol so we decided to set up in some bushes right here. We had lanterns and a boombox and thought yeah no one will find us here. We started drinking and started smoking. Happy days. The sun went down, the full moon came up and I vividly remember this night. It's the most prominent memory I think I have as a child. It was around 2am and we had a visitor. A rat with more balls than John Wick. A lot of the food had been opened by this point. Crisps, cake, chocolate and this rat was trying to get his fill. My mate Mark who at the time was my life mentor spent most of my childhood growing up with him I learned a lot of life skills from this guy and even he said this rat has got some balls I've never seen anything like it he told us to grab all the food and drink and put it in the tent so we did while Mark shooed and kicked the rat away all was quiet for five minutes while we were sat in the tent talking about what just happened and all of a sudden there was a thud on the right side of the tent where the rat just was the only way I can explain it is is as if somebody threw a rolled up pair of socks at the tent we zipped up the tent we all got a little bit sketched out then there was another thud on the right side followed by another and then another then the left side of the tent started to get hit we came to the conclusion that this was rats jumping out of the tent trying to get to the food the tent started to dip in on the left and right side so we all grabbed a bottle of drink and started to bat these mofos off from the inside side of the tent. I remember my brother Carl had a 2 litre bottle of lemonade, I had a bottle of coke and Mark had a 2 litre bottle of milk. God knows what the milk was for but we had it anyway. We spent 5 minutes knocking these rats off defending our lives. Mark's bottle of milk exploded and we were swimming in milk. I remember the fear in our faces and I said if one of these mofos gets in we have to bail. And moments after I said that right in the centre bottom of the tent I saw this little face poking through a tiny hole like it was on speed. Like it had rabies wriggling away trying to get to us or the food and I shouted there's one getting in. My brother Carl with his two litre bottle of lemonade with one strike splattered this little rat's brains in. There was blood and teeth everywhere. It wasn't a pretty sight. We all shouted bail. My brother grabbed the zips to the door and counted one, two, three, go. We bailed hard. We left everything. We completely forgot. Well, I forgot that about 30 feet from our tent was a barbed wire fence. I ran straight into the fence. Those two were halfway across the field already thinking that I was just behind them. I managed to flip myself over the fence in agony. I still have a huge scar on my leg. Thanks for the memory. 
I was that scared that I managed to clear the entire field before they did. They only had a quarter of the field left but I managed to clear it before they did with one trainer on. The other trainer was hanging on the barbed wire fence. We found it a few hours later when we went back as soon as the sun came up. I didn't cross the barbed wire fence on our venture back. I stayed in the field where I could see my feet and all the exit routes while Mark and Carl went in with golf clubs to see what happened. Most of the food had gone, the tent was shredded to pieces and no sign of the rats my brother splattered. After five minutes of searching the area, Mark stumbled upon a sewer pipe that was hidden. It was covered up by a bush only 20 feet from where we set up our tent. The amount of hours we put into this area growing up, we thought we knew every inch of it, but never once did we notice or find this pipe. None of us were ever brave enough to venture into the pipe and still to this day we do not know where the pipe ends. We know the pipe goes under the bypass which you can see here. We came to the conclusion it could have been a drainage pipe that would allow water to flow from one field to the next if one of the fields were to flood. So it would have had to have had an exit until this day we never found the other end of this pipe. All we do know is we got attacked by savage, bloodthirsty vampire rats, hence the reason I absolutely despise rats. Even if somebody has a pet rat caged in their home, I cannot be in the same room as that rat. This video haunts me and it makes me think if the rats on that disturbing night were the size of this bad boy, I might not be here to tell the story. This was not normal rat behaviour and what possessed them to do what they did. Thanks for listening guys and I'll definitely catch you very soon. Legends. Yeah.